Hello guys, Igor here, doing one more episode more reveal. Today I'm excited to talk about SEO crawl. I am a big fan of SEO tools as well. And this one's pretty good and help you a lot to just see the whole picture of your search console and Google Analytics data. And it will save you a lot of time to plan your SEO strategy. And it's pretty, it's not expensive. You can get the tier one for $19. I already bought tier one. I'm planning to upgrade to tier three. The, the tool works really well and i would definitely recommend you i uh, have just added the link to uh, the tool so you can get it with the best price on AppSumo right now and also i have added a link where you can find the three main benefits of seo crawl it's in the description and on the comment. So SEO crawl will help you generate actionable SEO reports with your search console and Google Analytics data. So they will give you the big picture so you can work to improve your website SEO. And let's see here, you're gonna get all future elite plans. And the difference here is the number of users, projects, and clicks per month. So if you have a blog that it's growing your blog, you would need more uh, than 100K clicks per month. So I would definitely recommend you to go to license tier three so you can use the tool in the long run and it's not uh, expensive. Also, the number of projects define the number of websites. So if you get only tier one, one website, tier two, five, and so on. Uh, you can get up to a million of, of clicks and the white labeling feature with the license tier three. So that's the best tier. But if you go up to license tier four, you can get unlimited projects and up to 10 million total clicks per month. For me, tier three will be good. I read about the tier one and I'm gonna upgrade to tier three. Let's take a look at the tool. Uh, you can add users here, pretty simple, just add their email and just go here to see your projects. When you want to create a new project, let's just cl click create a new project. I have created my projects and the only thing that I did by now is to connect my Google search console. So you're going to connect your Google search console, select your website and it's done and you have your dashboard ready. You don't need to know SEO to work with it. But before I show you the tool, I wanna show you that the tool is in many languages, so you can use it in many, many different languages. Portuguese is here, Spanish is on the house, Italian as well, and so on. And here on profile is where you can white label your reports. So you will be able to add your logo, your expanded logo, and also select the main color of your dashboard. But remember, for that, you need at least the tier three. So just go to visit dashboard. And here you're gonna see on home, uh, two widgets, uh, two main widgets, the search, the Google search data and the analytics data. So here I have my Google uh, search console data. You will not need to, you know, log in Google search console anymore. You're gonna get all the comprehensive data here. You can see your clicks performance and compare it to another to other months. You can see the period here in November 9, uh, 29 to December 5, uh, almost 2K clicks. You can see clicks performance by day. And here's pretty cool. You can get your top chains, your winners, okay? By keywords and where else? By keywords and where else? And also change the period as well. If you want to see the whole month, last seven days, last 28 days, current month, okay? You will be able to see everything. So you can see uh, which kind of URLs that are performing uh, better. And also the loser ones, the ones that are losing more um, clicks. You can see the your top performance key uh, uh, keywords, URLs as well. 
and the tool will also tag your keywords automatically if you have a, a question keyword, a brand keyword, a known brand keyword they will tag it automatically. For instance, just your CTR, just click here. It's pretty simple how it makes your work easily. You can see all your top keywords all around. I'm not, not gonna show mine for privacy, of course. Clicking here, you can see the analytics data. The analytics data is still uh, in beta and they will, you know, lead soon enough, but you will be able to see your analytics data and also to you can select here your keyword url and 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 search it one by one now the magic happens here on the left you can create annotations okay you can add annotations for your seo strategy and it will also create some for you your span uh, update for instance your google help content updates okay so uh, that gives you advice to improve using SEO. Here you can see your performance also by clicks, impressions, CTR, and average position. You can see in the period, the period here, my number of clicks. I'm, I'm, you know, my website is getting more and more views because I'm publishing more. See the difference from the previous month. And then see your best keywords. Okay, I'm not going to show mine for privacy but you will be able uh, to, you know, relate the keywords that were performing better using the tool. And here you're going to find uh, a lot of new data, your uh, top keywords, your top page, your top countries. Here are my top pages during, uh, during, uh, during a period. You can change the period anytime you want here. You can see your new keywords and the keywords that you lost. So with that data, you can make change on a strategy. So for instance, I have that new keywords here. So I have a lot of new keywords as you can see here. And you can see also your lost keywords. Also you see your lost impressions with the keywords. The tool will also gives you some ideas, cannibalization, opportunities and questions. Now cannibalization, so you can see that I have some uh, page cannibalizing my query. Not a big issue by now. You can also see your new opportunities. So here are some keywords that they are recommend for me. So what I need to work on. Also you can see your questions, the qu questions that you can work on. And here you're gonna see your actionable data, your tasks. So you can create uh, your SEO tasks here. So what you want to do next. So you have a project management inside the tool. You can also select anywhere else and get the data from it and also monitor your what else so that is seo crowd it will give you uh the big picture of your google search console data in your analytics and analytics data you're gonna save a lot with this kind of dashboard and also you can use that to you know pair with uh potential partners and you can you know prove that your website is doing well and you are ranking pretty well. I hope you like that review. I'm I'm definitely grading SEO crawl to the tier three. And remember, I have added a link in the description planning the three main benefits of using SEO crawl and also the best link. Then you can get the best price right now for that tool. Thank you so much. Bye bye.